And then I um, put my finger in quite literally every pie that was offered to me. We're going to get to the lesbian <laughs> stuff later, please. At least you were offered pies. I wasn't even offered. I had to go ask. At least you asked. I almost asked what position do you play in women's rugby, but then I realized it's probably, it's rugby. It's it's probably the, same. the same position. <laughs> I'm part of the problem. <laughs> At least I can admit it. <laughs> Recently I go my pronouns are she and it because I'm the shit. But it's like a fucking who starts chopping a line of cocaine at a party. I'm not just gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna be <laughs> Let's go. Hello, my name is Skulk Besaidnerd. Welcome to another episode of Your Mom with Skulk. And thank you. Today, I'm very blessed to have four cans of the House Rosato. Mm. Mm. House, there's nothing in Ribia Castile like it. And that's where I am today. I'm in the wonderful, beautiful Ribia Castile with Tani Natalie and her daughter, Andrea Katsev. Tani Natalie. Question number one, when did you know your daughter was going to be a tattooed lesbian influencer? <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> I'm joking, no, that's not the first question. <laughs> yeah, fuck. No, I'm joking. Got so <laughs> no, that's, that's not the first question. <laughs> also, my mom's covering her mouth because one of the teeth are missing. Full yeah, disclosure. it's better with implantatus. <laughs> I went for emergency root canal yesterday. <laughs> Oof. So now I know your pain. Now, mm. okay. I want to actually start by just giving some context. I, I'm so glad this interview happened because I got tagged by a bunch of people on Instagram or in the comment section saying, unblock Andrea Kadzev. Okay. Then I was like, what? I block a lot of people on, on Instagram because there's a lot of the spam things where it's like, hey, we want to pay you. You you must get it a lot. Three yeah. th it's always in dollars. Then I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> just update, just research a little bit Go of the, the country. Go with 10,000 Rand or whatever. I mean, you'd easier spam people. I don't know why I'm trying to help the spammers, <laughs> the scammers, but we can pay you $2,000 by pl pay immediate block. And then sometimes, you know, there's like, I've never had anything weird, but um, sometimes it's also just, you know, someone being like, yo, skark. And then I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I clearly irritate you. If you can't take the self-responsibility to block me, I will then block do it you. for you. So, Andrea, I, you say your profile's been hacked. Yes. Or it was a drunk night that you sent me something <laughs> cock and then I was like, screw this person, I'm blocking them. But I still, to this day, I don't know what was sent to me. I just unblocked you then and... Look, I also don't know what was sent to you. Yeah. And that's between the person who blocked, who you blocked and themselves. How did your profile get hacked? Because you have to click on, always have to click on some link yeah. or... I clicked on a link, eh? Clicked on a link. I clicked on a link. Somebody sent me a message and they were like... Um, Hot girl on Ferrari near you. Yes, one of exactly. Those. It was exactly that. <laughs> you know, Rebecca, only two kilometers <laughs> away. Two kilometers <laughs> away. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Rebecca, hit me up. And then and then someone hacked my account. And unfortunately, how did you get it back? For um, all the people whose account's been hacked, like, how do you get it back? Because I always think if my account gets hacked, that's the yeah, end. Like, you you in you your can't. chops. Yeah, look, it's almost impossible. But if you have a friend who works for Facebook, it's not. And you do have that friend? I have that friend. Okay, I will definitely get that contact from you if it yeah, ever happens to me. I'll send it your me. way, don't stress. Yo, no, because I always think it's a mess, eh? It's an absolute shame. And the, the saddest thing is when you see these people, I mean, you know how long it takes just to get to... 20,000 yeah. followers and you see these people then it's like because do you know do you know you know Dirk van der Westeisen I don't me neither I don't think your house is not giving me Dirk van der Westeisen the vibe of someone <laughs> who listens Westeisen. to Dirk van der Westeisen <laughs> no offense Dirk van der Westeisen but um, <laughs> you, you'll know the song Droppy ball mm. slana mm. ice mm. Mm. pum pum Eat the bass, something That's like that. Fun though, I mean. And then you also did an Afrikaans cover of Gangnam Style. <laughs> but Gangnam Style in Afrikaans is just Gangnam Style. So the chorus was still <laughs> Gangnam Style. Nears <laughs> <laughs> Gangnam Style, ni Gangnam Style, still. But anyway, 
Dirk van der Westhuis, and he had a lot of followers, like, let's say 70, 80, and then it's shame. Now you see Dirk van der Westhuis and new. Hey, guys, accounts me now, please follow this one. But it's just like now still yeah. sitting at like 10 or whatever, and it's just like, yo, I don't know if you ever... No, you don't. Get it's back a slow to, climb. Yeah, see. Okay, so that's... and But now, look, now we're friends. Yeah, look at that, eh? Thank you for everyone who tagged Skulk Besaid notes in my comment section. I really appreciate it because now he's in my mom's lounge interviewing us. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's start. Are you an only child? Is he an only child, child Tani Natalie? No, there was no one of her. Okay. <laughs> also a girl. <laughs> no, there was an older son. Okay. Lekker. And did you grow up, did you guys grow up in Ribia Kasteel? Nee, in die in suidelike voorstede. Actually, in die noordelike voorstede, tot hulle laarskool klaargemaak het, en toe toen ons suidelike voorstede toe gedrek. Ok, well, in Clermont. Newlands. Newlands. Ja. Nieuwe land. Um, why are you so English? Yo, because I got sent to a Saudi school, man. I okay. got sent to one of those Lani private schools where you have to wear a uniform that looks like it came out of a nunnery. Okay. Yeah, Herschel. Herschel Girls School. Herschel, you were, oh, you were a Herschel, Herschel girl. girl. I know, it's tough to believe. Mm, no, lacquer girls there from Herschel. I know yeah. the Herschel girls. I like the Herschel Which girls. Which ones do you know, Scott? Yeah, I, I've always liked the Herschel girls. I think they're nice. <laughs> did you not enjoy it? No, I loved it. I had a good okay, time you there. did. <laughs> yeah, I was full any good when it came to anything lacquer there. So, yeah, Duke is was a bit different than the rest of the girls there. Yeah, bit kak and real. Is it? Mm. Like what? Yo, mom, you want to tell them, or do you not remember? Have you blocked it out? I've blocked it out. So you can cope. I used to redirect. So we had these bathrooms at Herschel where we had showers in the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Weird. Um, what for? for like, just like in, if you're a bit sweaty in first break, you can yeah, take a shower. Yeah, just go take a storky there, <laughs> quick, quick. And a lot of the teachers would use the specific bathroom because it was like between their office and like the personal camera, you know? Mm -hmm. So whenever a teacher would like slip in there during my like breaks, a teacher would like slip in there to use the bathroom and I'd quickly run into the shower. And then I'd like redirect the shower head so it would go into their cubicle and I'd just fucking full tilt that <laughs> crown and it would just like sprock rocket them. And then I'd run out and giggle. And that was like one of my favorite pastimes. And then you just hear like, <laughs> Tani's teacher scream. Oh no. Yeah. But they had security cameras, which I was highly unaware of. So then I eventually got caught. In the bathrooms? No, no, no. no in, the hallway. In, the oh, hallway. in the hallway. Oh, in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> in the hall they had the cameras <laughs> yeah okay and then what what Tani what did she do after school did you go to UCT because I saw you wearing a UCT yeah. top afterwards I kiss okay I was so, also there so must be UCT this is like the UCT season everyone we're interviewing this season went to UCT yeah and so Dreidels what did you start with law Jeremy Loops went to UCT oh. interviewed him yesterday he went to UCT. Yeah, okay. Did you know that? Business science degree. Well, that's, a, that's the university to go to. Yeah, you know? no, I guess. Good. Especially, I think, I mean, like she grew up English, but like for Afrikaans kids, I mean, we can, yeah, you are Afrikaans. <laughs> no offense, mom. So you, what did you study? Law. I started with law and then I was like, naught. Okay. Like one, year, one year of law. Yeah. I wouldn't say I dropped out. I just moved on to something else. You know, mm -hmm. we parted ways. And then I um, put my finger in quite literally every pie that was offered to me. So like, <laughs> interpret that as you please. We're going to get to the lesbian stuff later, please. Fuck. <laughs> no, <it's not> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> At least you were offered pies. I wasn't even offered. <laughs> I had to go ask. <laughs> At least you asked. <laughs> yeah. And then, Tani, what did you, when she said, okay, dropping law, now going like more BA thing, were you worried? Most yeah, mothers are. Nie, yeah, glad nie. Okay. Thanks, mom. No, it's pressure up, hulle gesit nie, even op school. Hulle, no, it's pressure gesit op examens, of sport, hulle. That's why I did so mm. cock at school. No? That's why I did so cock at school. Yeah, maybe you should have put a bit of you pressure there. You should have put a pressure on me, mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure, I cruised. Did you do sport in school? Mm. What? I did hockey. I did water polo. I did squash. I did volleyball. Because now you play rugby now. Yeah. That is something that I'm so interested in when I saw that because... 
What do, what do you think of the rugby? Let's start there, Tani Natalie. You love it. Moet jy vir my sê Tani? Ek moet. Moet jy? Ja, jy is Afrikaans. Jy is Afrikaans en your child is... Sê Tani vir Tani. Your child is as old as me, mm. basically. Just because okay. you're younger than my mom. I mean, look, you can't fool me with the vans. You're still a Tani. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the question now again? I was asking about the women's rugby. Woody rugby. Ach, no, men, so not again. How does this happen every time? I swear Eskom sends a guy to wait for us to record our episodes and then calls in. Hello, Yuan. Yes, it's me. Now. Do it now, Yuan. Hit the load shedding button. Fuck the schedule, man. Just do it now. Anyway, men, so by now you know, Go Solar is the solution to all your problems. Well, maybe not all your problems, but for your electricity problems, they are the solution. In the last episodes, I explained the cost benefit of paying monthly with no big upfront cost as well as the peace of mind that comes with not owning the system and having Go Solar take care of it for you. But the last thing I need to tell you is how flippin' easy it is to sign up, men, so here's how it works. You're interested in solving all your problems, so you head over to gosolar.co.za and click I'm interested. And then poof, a solar system appears on your roof. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. You first sign the contract. Remember, this is all online, digital, means sir. You upload your ID, your proof of address, three months bank statements. Go solar, do a credit check to make sure you're not borrowing money from the Guptas, and then you pay a once-off admin fee and schedule your installation date at your convenience. And poof, now a solar system really appears in your house, and you smile for the first time since the divorce. All your problems melt away while you watch the rugby and listen to this podcast uninterrupted at last. Thanks, Go Solar. Means to speak to Go Solar. So it's S O L R without the A. I was asking about the women's rugby. Woody rugby. No, I've got no problem now. I think it's cool. It's good. Yeah. 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 Where did you discover that? Or oh, how did you. F- um, so I was watching the Olympics, like the 2022 Olympics that happened. Mm-hmm. Or was it 2020 Olympics? No, it definitely wasn't 2020. I, I can't don't remember. Think. Oh, it didn't happen in 2020, but it was the 2020 Olympics, wasn't it? Don't okay, know. whatever. I was watching the Olympics. Okay, yeah. The and last I saw the Ele- sevens, Olympics. And I saw um, the Black Ferns playing against England, I think. So That's the Red Rose. New Zealand, no. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, women playing rugby at such a high level. I could probably do that. <laughs> Turns out I can't, but it's a jaw. Do you still play? I do, but I wrecked my ankle in a soccer game like six months ago. Okay. So I've been out for a while. <clears throat> so wh- what position do you play? In rugby. Yeah. Your wing fly off a fullback. I almost asked what position do you play in women's rugby, but then I realized it's probably <laughs> it's rugby. It's, it's probably the same, the same position. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the problem. <laughs> At least I can admit it. I'm and I'm educating myself. <laughs> one okay, step fullback. At a time. So you you're the fast one. Okay. And you guys play in a in a league or it, you know, t- I want to. I want to follow. I want to follow. The yeah. Club. So it's most. It's just club. Um. I don't What's know. What's your if, club's name? False Bay. False Bay. Okay. Yeah. And they're great. I think they're mm. like top three. Why they? Why not us? Oh, because you injured. Because I'm moment. injured at the moment. Yeah. You know, I can't claim to be part of such an elite group of people when I'm not actually with them. And then what happened after university? You you leave university. You've got Egyptology under your belt. <laughs> Look, only what? one year. How did you start making money? <laughs> Yo, what worked, did you do? For- I worked in the hospitality industry for a very long time because I wanted to open up my own little cafe. Okay. I was like very adamant to do that. But at the same time, I had a love for photography and directing. Wait, I'm going to pause you. What do you, what do, you do, Tani Natalie? I'm retired. Before that? I was in the... What the we? <laughs> yeah, look at how long have you been retired? You're not 65 yet. At what age did you retire? She's been retired for long, for a long time, about eight years. Yeah. At what age did you retire? What was it, Namia? Mom, if you're 56 now. Yo, you it's retired at 48. Cradles. Oh, sorry. 48. Okay. Yes, see, did you sell an app to Google or something? Mm. You know, one of those where you like sell yeah, an app for yeah. 100. Yeah, we had in the family business. We had a commercial in the plattenland. Okay. And then I decided to say, I have enough money. Is that what you did? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Came to Ribia Castile. Yeah. It's very nice here. Like, I could live here. We play so it's a new one. We play so again and again. Okay. Looks very safe here, eh? Is it safe? Yeah, what? 
Ja, wat? Ja, dit is safe. Touch and go. <laughs> wat, maar dit is petty, petty crime. Ach ja, petty crime. crime wat jy oor al kry. Ja, yeah, exactly. You only have a murder here like nee, once nee. every 10 years. Nee, dit is een awesome klein dorpie. Okay, lekker. Waar? I don't know why I'm saying lacquer, but I mean, it's, not, it's still not lacquer that there's a murder every 10 years, but I mean, by South African standards, that's it's like, pretty good. It's like, wow, that, that's lacquer. <laughs> that's very <pretty> lacquer. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, gaslighting ourselves here in South Africa. The every, once every 10 years murder. Woo, you guys are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were saying you used to work at Power and Glory. Yeah. Because before the interview, she said, remember I served you? At Power and Glory, and I said, pause, <laughs> wait till we roll, so now you can tell the story. Yeah, it's not much of a story. I just served you at PNG. You came up to me, and you're like, what red wines do you have? And I was like, I follow this guy on Instagram, and I know he loves his <laughs> what wine. What year was this? This was like 2019. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, we've got the Babylon Sturm, we've got the... I can't remember what else there was, but you were like... There was a False Bay wine, I remember as well. There was, was a, there? There was a wine called False Bay. Okay. Anyway, so you took the wine <clears throat> and you like did this whole pretentious thing where you hoid around like that. You're talking so much cock. No, you did do that. <laughs> you did. And I've then you smelt it. I've done that. You smelt it and you're like, ga maar werk. And then you drank your wine and you did. <sighs> I put it back down. I've never smelled wine in my life. You I'm like the most the wine, unpretentious bro. wine drinker. <laughs> Maybe I, did it, it, maybe I did it, it as a joke. I, one thing, because this is sometimes I will think that I'm doing it over the top, but because I'm such a good actor, maybe I just looked, because I convincing. was probably like, mm, no, this will do. Thinking you're going to pick up on the joke that I'm on purpose doing it over the top, but <laughs> obviously I, I just sold it too well. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was too much of a good sell. I'm sorry. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, and then I served you your wine and you drank your wine and you... Was I there alone? No, you were there with some chummies. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I was like, anyway, that was a great experience for me. I just served Skulk for Sad and Wine. That's the highlight in my life. So so when did you start with your Instagram stuff? Because that's how people know you. Mm. Do you do you love it, Tani Natalie? Do you watch all I of do. them? Yeah. I do. I do, of course. Then what do you so always tell me? Is, <laughs> for my own is. is the fluke not so lucky for you? <laughs> okay. Sorry, mom. And no. obviously, also like the, so my mom doesn't like swear words, but she also, but she's come to, in a way, love the swear words. But I think what um, upsets her more is just like crass under the belt. Yeah. Are you the same? Yeah. Because literally, I, I other day I saw a video and I thought, I wonder, Andrea, what your mom thinks of this. Yeah. The one where she said, when you have your morning poopsie. And then you wipe and it's clean. Yeah. And then you know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's hey. not even that crass. Remember you you sent me a message that... Say the advantage of our videos like me, then we'd say that the problem had with the flicker. Speaking of morning poopsies, the first time Skulk messaged me, I responded to him and I was actually making a morning poopsie in Bali. Cradles. She sends me a voice note. <laughs> Can I tell you, Tani? She sends me a voice note. Taking it, being like, I'm taking my morning, I don't know if you said shit or crap or whatever yeah, you said. Yeah, I'm taking my cock. Yeah, she's like, I'm taking my morning cock here in Bali. You know, even for me, that was a bit far. But then I thought, here, look at Okay, because Andrew, she's so cool on Instagram. So I thought, nah. you know, because I, I thought you were much younger. I thought you were like 25 or something. So I thought, okay, I can't, I need to come across as, you know, I'm still... Like with it, with the youth, you know, <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not like you by this yeah. thing, you know, because I'm, I was scared she's going to be like, what? It's natural. And, uh, and then I'm like, <laughs> feel is. like a fucking old man. Apparently, I don't so. So then, so then I was like, oh no, please. <laughs> I was like, never apologize for sending a voice note while you taking your morning cup. <laughs> and I was like, I, I said something like I prefer it or something. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, my nah. girlfriend was waving me down to be like, no, delete voice notes. <laughs> I was like, babe, it's sent. <laughs> Sorry. It is what it is. Okay. And when did the, so, and, and oh, so you don't like this way? And uh, I must mm. ask, because I asked this to, to all, all moms of people, like I asked Jack Barry's mom this, the same, and she, for example, is totally 
on board with the swearing. She loves it. She says he learned it from her. But then one thing she hates is the tattoos. She says, oh, she hates the tattoos. How do you feel about the tattoos? Like I'm me. so sad we can't see any of them now I'm today. So sorry, it's cold. We'll you know? share you, the handle, but go look. It, I mean, but you stuck to the aesthetic, which I appreciate. You didn't get Thank like you. the random. You went all black and white. Yes. And all sailor. Through and through. Theme, Jaguar, which <laughs> I love. I get all few here and there is a yeah. trash stumpy what you ate. But fun, fun, it's for all you eat. Op die, voor die boors en hierdie lekker trash in die achter die oor. Ja. Wat de other was you well on the boor. Ja, dit is my heel te mal onnodig. Sy sê dit is common. <laughs> ja, nie, maar ek is so bieke common. Ja. But common has become cool, that's the thing. Ja. Well, they're still common, like they're still um, hygo belly so politie. So kry jy nou cool common <laughs> en common. <laughs> yes, you do. Common want, met a car. <clears throat> ja, want like when the antwoord <laughs> came out, Zef, I would say Zef and Coleman can work sort of almost synonymously. Well, actually, Zef was like a branch. Uh, it's like a different cultivar of Coleman, <laughs> Zef. Yeah. But like someone like Radio Raps, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but it, he's, just, he's like a Coleman guy. You know, he's got the fucking cap and he's like, eh. Um, <laughs> don't give me into it when it's a Coleman is. I don't think Nia, but the, the thing is when common <laughs> becomes cool, when common becomes cool is when you embrace the common. Mm. That's when it becomes mm. cool. The people who are common and go and pretend not to be common, that's when you're like, oh, shame, they're just so common. They just have no idea. They don't even think they're common. Mm. <laughs> then that's when it's just common. But I think if you go, yeah, I'm a bit common, but like I'm going to embrace the common then it becomes cool. And yeah, I think with people like the Unvert and Jack Parrow and stuff, they really made like common cool because it's like drinking and smoking and swearing and fucking yeah, mm. like in <laughs> fuck eight. That was, that then became, but I don't think your tattoos are common, I must say. Thank you. Because it's like stylefully done and you know, you like, you have a good figure. So when you like flaunt it, like it looks good aesthetically. Yeah, and, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a symmetry in my tattoos at, as well, which definitely adds to yeah, the aesthetic. You can see there's been thought. She yeah. wasn't just like, I'm going to get now get a fucking Bart Simpson. <laughs> I think that was a part of vanilla. Yeah, but people don't see those. They don't even realize that's, that's, that's what it is. Die on the spur of the moment, but you need to like you can have a tattoo. I I do have a few of those. Picky impulsive, you weet jy. By the way, I, I thought I should actually start the interview like this and then I, I didn't and please excuse me, but I thought I should actually start the interview by what are your pronouns? That is the respectable way to start. Well, I mean, recently I go my pronouns are she and it because I'm the shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> now you're just making a mockery of the non-binary community, please. Shit. Something. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That is that that should uh, that's gonna catch on. Yeah. I think that's gonna catch on. I think it should. Think oh, it and it should. only works with she. Yeah. Unfortunately. He and it because I'm the heat. Or because I'm the I'm a heat. I mean whatever. Kind of kind of yeah, works. Yeah. But, but, yeah. I think you yeah. could make it work. But I no, it's it. she her. She her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not they. No, a lot of people ask me what assume my pronouns that, are yeah. and assume you know, you're a they, them, and I'm like, no, I'm a she, her. <laughs> yeah. No, I just thought that, I, I don't know, maybe I, well, I was um, kind of stereotyping, but I thought the women's rugby and the sort of androgynous Yeah, style a lot of people, and... they're like, oh, you're so androgynous, and I'm like, I don't see myself as androgynous, but it's, you. you don't get to see how other people see you. That's yeah. just how it is. Like I see myself as like feminine and I just happen to be athletic and do a lot of like male dominated sports, which obviously translates to, you know, androgyny in its own way. But for me, well, I'm like, I, yeah. I guess so, because I think that the tattoos mm. for, uh, for me, and you must understand now I am speaking. One thing I have been embracing this year is my prudishness. <laughs> because when you say conservative, You'll know with Afrikaans people. If you say conservative, that sometimes translates as bigot, mm. yeah. which I don't want it to because yeah. I used to say I'm, I'm conservative. But then people think you're a homophobe and you're racist, yeah. which is not the case. So I've now learned to use the word prudish 
because I am like mm. we, even when it comes to sex and stuff like I'm like yeah. I'm prudish yeah. you know I, I love my missionary babe I'm also prudish <laughs> but don't tell anyone because I, I don't I don't you know and, and, I, and like especially with stuff like I don't know some like drugs like I've, I've experimented in my youth but you know like if someone whips out like a fucking starts chopping a line of cocaine at a party I'm not just gonna be like hmm, whatever you know I'm gonna yeah. be like I'm doing cocaine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> babe I would call I'm my mom act cool, but I'm gonna be like <laughs> Jesus my so did, I've, I've, yeah, so what do you want to say? Yeah, but this is what by means of what they've seen from you and mm. how rare it is, it's two different people, because yeah. people are judgmental. They are, but also like I do fit a certain stereotype yeah. aesthetically, so they just like assume that I fall into that stereotype, yeah. which is fine. But like I'm also incredibly, I know you wouldn't think it, incredibly prudish, like very. Is it? Yeah, on your cake. But I've learned to embrace it now because... Mm. For me, it's like there's so little innocence left in the world. Yeah. So I like embracing the bit of innocence mm. that I still that I still have. I like how you framed it. You know, so that's why I don't I don't like apologize for saying, "Oh, sorry, I th- I thought they them, but look, okay, if she yeah. Uh, yeah, help me, educate me." Also, I think the problem is like people just are too scared to ask. And then actually uh, that's when you cause more offense yeah. when you just like assume. I wanted to ask now, Tani, when people ask you, what does Andrea do? What do what do you what is the what is your answer? What do you say she does for see, a living? I say she's in the film industry. Okay. Wanneer is moeilijk om te verduidelik. So a film industry, take a yellow paar dinge. Yeah. Because yeah. do you make money from your Instagram or na- or now and then like an influence like a paid post? Well, or yeah, is- I make. Um, I do make money from it when I do collaborations with companies and I mm. make a lack of penny there. Yeah. So yeah, it's actually provided me with a decent amount of income. Yeah. And then obviously directing is a very lucrative yeah, if you get start getting to a higher yeah. level. Yeah, you can yeah. hoy there. Yeah. But that takes time. Like I said, I've only been in that for a year. So give me mm. another, give me another year, I reckon. <laughs> We can do a wee Hollywood. nice car commercial together, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. We'll play some commercials. I'd love to be directed by you. Um, but I mean, now that I think of it, I, that what I was going to say is I think it's the tattoos and stuff. But when I think of it, you are in a lot of ways also very much a girly girl because like you pose in your bikini and, you know, exactly. you are very girly. Yeah. Mm. You see, someone sees me. Mom Skulk sees me. Mm. We're very connected. Your mom also you. sees you. She just sees you like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she skiffs me when she sees me. I always just think this is a interesting thing to to bring up with with families because I think it inspires other families that aren't so lucky. Because I can see you obviously have no issue with the fact that she's gay. So I want to talk about it because you know not not everyone is so lucky. I hope you yeah, know. Yeah, no, lucky I'm you very are. grateful. So. At what age did you start Skulk. sticking your finger every pile <laughs> <that> was offset? <laughs> no, but at what age? I'm not talking about experimenting. No, 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 let's not go there. But like at what age did did you tell your mom, basically? 20? Yeah. 19? 19. 19, she mm. knows. Yeah. 19. Okay. Yeah. So your whole adult life, basically. Yeah, yeah basically. Shame. Mm. It was a, it was a bit of a shock to their system in the beginning. Alhoewel ek 'n vermoede gehad het. Ja. Ek het 'n vermoede gehad. Maar ek Ja, I mean volleyball. <laughs> I'm like, "Mom, <laughs> no, did you I'm not joking. see the signs? <laughs> they were all there. I used to skateboard, you know. <laughs> like the signs were there, mom. You just chose to ignore them." Yeah, okay. I don't know about the skateboarding, but yeah, I would I would say. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball. <laughs> Yeah, mom. So, but yeah, it was a bit of a shock to their system at first, but I must say they rapidly embraced it and they made me feel very like it's not a thing. Mm. And it really isn't a thing at all. It's just very much the norm in our household. Yeah. Yeah. 
sometimes moms can also go the other direction where they embrace it so much that they become it that it becomes a thing where they will like <laughs> you know where they, they almost lead with like my daughter i've got a wonderful daughter and she's a lesbian <laughs> Oh. You're like, okay, it's cool. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you know, Wasn't it's like almost like they go like too far in yeah. the embrace. It's like, okay, embrace it a bit less. Just you chill. Just, just turn it down. Um, yeah, no, and that's... And every pride, waving, waving the flag <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> My daughter's a lesbian <laughs> and she's Lebanese. <laughs> but no, yeah. My girlfriend is Lebanese. Okay. And girlfriend's a lesbian. Le Lebanese. And a mm. lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> We just use them interchangeably these days. <laughs> you must try and combine them. What what would be the one word for Lebanese lesbian? Lesbanese. Lesbanese. Yeah. That's, that's Lesbanese. a good one. It's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you guys meet? At Shabbat, at my uncle's house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got, True story. Oh, you're Jewish. Yeah. South Afrikaans are you it. Yeah. Don't meet a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, don't meet it. There, oh. there is a very small Afrikaans Jewish community in South Africa that you just never really, I don't, don't know where you guys hide, but obviously in Ribia Castile. In Ribia Castile, <laughs> yeah. And Paketberg and Malmesbury. Where, where, Tani, did that, can I ask, did you convert later in life yeah. or did you grow up Jewish? And why did you convert? I'm a Jew by choice. Jew by choice. Mm. Did you meet a man that you had to convert because of No, it was that? my own choice. Okay. Mm -hmm. What made you out of interest? Because were you raised Christian, like yeah. most Afrikaans yeah. people? In Gierkerk. In Gierkerk, same, same, yeah. same. Doing a gig on Friday at the In Gierkerk Waverly in Pretoria. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Nee, I had in Israel gewerk in the 88 op the kibbutz. Okay. And they geloof it net my Freshly interested. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you guys were raised Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. Afrikaans Jewish. Afrikaans Jews. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a combination, like I said, that you hear every day, but that's cool. Mm. So you met at Shabbat at your uncle's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uncle Paul Katsef. Yeah. Brilliant. Because um, now this is also very Jewish of me. My girlfriend and I happen to share cousins, but we're not related. We have checked, don't worry. Not that it would matter anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying to make that. So, because her mom, no, that's not right, Andrea. Her auntie married one of my uncles. Oh, yeah, so it's not, so it's not, blood. we're good, we're good. Yeah, we did check. Yeah, we had a little bit of a oops, and then a little scare, and then we realized we're fine. Fine, it's not like you guys are going to have weird children. <laughs> <laughs> That's just actually a joke. You know, joke theft is a big problem in the, in, it's a big no-no in the comedy industry, but I just realized I stole that joke from someone. Uh, I, th I don't remember what comedian it was, but whoever, I think it was a gay comedian in Australia, I think, and he said, what are we going to do? Make weird babies. So, you yeah, can just, you credit know, to that credit comedian who said that. Not my own joke. Not Tag my him own in the joke. caption. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? On Sunday, it would be a year. So okay. Like, like yeah. It's my longest relationship. Well, we the same age. You're a year younger than me. So mm. basically the same age, 30, 31. I'm at an age now where, you know, friends are having kids and stuff. And now that's something, you know, it's a conversation that is sort of happening every few weeks yeah. you know is it is it the same with you you guys no no you want kids no you want kids no because you're not... living the life here in the because you're also this is not a this is not a house that's conducive for little kids mm -mm. <laughs> everything's it's too nice a little kid will come and mess this place up now yeah. too, with their little fingers touching your nice paintings yeah <laughs> What is what is your next? You said you like always just kind of no plans, but what is your? You wanna in the? I want to work industry? my up in the yeah. I want to work my way up in the film industry as a director, but at the moment we're not allowed to talk about it because of NDAs. Okay, there's something happening. There's something cool happening with you in front of a camera. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yes, I can say yes to that. Okay. I read the fine print. Okay. Yes. Cool. Involves cool. a TV. I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait. Neither can I. Please involve me in some of way. Course. I want to be involved so bad. Well, if you don't follow 
Andrea Katsev, your Instagram is a very, very sad place. So I want to talk about the cooking quickly before we oh, yes, before please. we start because that's a lot of your posts. Mm. Um, yeah, where did that? Is that from you, not Oli? <laughs> that is from my name, Lucas. Yeah, I learned how to cook through my mom, but that doesn't mean I can cook very well. I'm not as good as her. But the cooking started during lockdown because mm. yeah. I used to work at PNG. I also worked at the PNG kitchen, kind of a little bit. And you um, made those hot dogs. Yes, yes, the ones that everyone <laughs> raves over. And My favorite at PNG, very controversial. The PNG, I don't think the audience really going to know this, but Power and Glory, it's there in top of your know, Kloof, 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 yeah, Kloof, Kloof Neck, whatever. Institution in Cape Town, um, but our best part of PNG is not the, it's not the hot dogs. It's the pie. It's the beef pie. The beef and ale pie the with beef and homemade pie. chutney on the side. Yo, <sighs> that, that mm. over the hot dog any day, any day. My mouth just started watering. But anyway, well, why are we talking about the power and glory? Because oh, because I food. the reason I started yes, making food, the, yeah, the, the kitchen. cooking videos was to actually raise money and generate traffic towards a backer buddy account for the staff at PNG during oh, lockdown. Oh, I see. Yeah, because they obviously weren't earning money at the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. And and now do you, do you still you do still do the cooking videos? Because I saw you did one yeah, with chicken. I Once do. again, this is my own. Prudishness and prejudices, but I assumed you were vegan. <laughs> a, lot a lot of people, of people just gave me yeah. that vegan a vibe. I'm so sorry. Do. You are like the hundredth person to make that I'm assumption. I'm so sorry. I just got don't such even apologize. Yeah. Like I've done this to myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also do make a lot of vegan dishes, so that could also be why. Maybe it's because I saw a post that, and, and you were like, "It's a vegan dish," yeah. and I think maybe. My the wife said to me, oh, and she makes these amazing vegan dishes. So then I thought vegan. But then this morning I saw, like, Ooh, you no. take your chicken. And I was like, yeah, look at it, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's an Afrikaans vegan, you know. But yeah. Well, is must groente. You know, must be Afrikaners. Hooner is groente. Afrikaans Jewish vegan. Wow. <laughs> Andrea Katzev. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tani Natali. I didn't even say this at the beginning. beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, she has a massive migraine and she still did this interview for us. So thank you very much from the bottom of our heart. You didn't even touch your, your house wine. Yeah, I will drink some drama my migraine. For okay, bias, just take you. one slicky there. Just I'll definitely the, couple. Which one should I hoi? Uh, take the Prosecco. It's a nice one. Is that that one? No, that's the middle one. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to go on. We'll go on deal. Just, Just say what you think. You can give your honest opinion, but I'm I know it's gonna be lacquer. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's giving Shabbat. Yeah. It's not the it's nice it's and cold. I mean fruity. it's been mm, it's, it's been light. standing there now for it's a while. Fresh. You'll see what I mean by I say it's giving Shabbat. It's got a bit of Kiddush wine vibe to it. It does. Mm. It's lovely. Mm. Okay, well genuine. Bruce is Kiddish wine. Yeah. How do you say goodbye again in in Hebrew, are you going to say Jewish? In Jewish. <laughs> People always go, but I, Andrea, can you speak Jewish? No, can you speak Christian? <laughs> so, yeah, I can speak Christian. Hello, Hanet. <laughs> shalom. No, but shalom is hello. Hello, yeah. Yeah. What, Come what on, is how do you say goodbye, goodbye or... In Yiddish, at least. Have a nice day. She used to be fluent in Hebrew when yeah, she did all of her classes, her. but... um. She since let herself go. Later out is see you again. There Later we go. out. Later out. Later out. Later out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Later. I'm going to do that again because that was, oof, now I'm going to get cancelled by the out. Jewish community. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> for butchering that. You're trying. I'm just going to say, Shalom. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I actually have a, a joke in my new show about... I shouldn't spoil the joke now because people are going to come watch the show. You can cut this out. But it's basically, I'll do a short version, but but I got, it's a bit of an awkward story, but I got circumcised when I was 13 because of an accident in the shower. Um, I did, I wasn't doing anything weird. I was just washing and then it, it hocked fast. Like it didn't want to go back over. Okay. And then. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. And then I was like, (laughs) okay, I don't know. I'm just going to go to bed. And then the next morning it was swollen and was blue. 
And then my mom took me to the doctor. They said, look, it got stuck. Now it's swelled up. Best thing would be to circumcise you. And I was like, ah, no, I don't want to be circumcised. Because also like when you grow up the way I did in Afrikaans school, you go on the tracker camps and the church camps and the school camps. Like it, all the okies are showering together because you're like small. And you just didn't see uncircumcised ones. So I didn't know it was actually a very common thing. So I was like, oh, I'm going to be a freak at school. I'm going to be the only circumcised <laughs> one. <laughs> and then... And then I really thought this, but I thought that if you get circumcised, you automatically become Jewish. <laughs> I thought that if you get circumcised, you're Jewish now. I, yeah. I thought that's the thing that makes I you mean, Jewish. you could pass. So then I was like crying yeah. to my mom. I, like, I don't want to be Jewish. She's like, you won't be Jewish. I'm like, I will be Jewish. She's like, going to circumcise me. She's like, you're not going to, you're still going to be the same. Don't worry. I was like, I don't want to be Jewish. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I want to be. I still want to go to church with you guys on oh, Sunday. She's like, you can, you can. Don't worry. So anyway, yeah, that's my my little brief Jewish it's connection, quite but wholesome. not at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, Tani, Natali. Thank you for having Me us. Deplessive. Andrea, we're going wine tasting now. If you wanna come no, join I'm us. No, good. Yeah. Actually, I might. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You yeah thanks. Go. She okay, wants alone time. Your mom has a headache, so leave her alone. Thanks for having us. That was another episode of Your Mom with Skulk. Thank you to House. Very nice. Your Mom with Skulk is a telltale media production and hosted by me, Skulk Besaitman. Once again, please hit the subscribe button on your podcast app. That's it for today. But I'll catch you next week for another chat with another Tani.